there's no more room in hell. The dead will walk the earth. Home bright faces, uh, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the new subscribers or new users, new viewers. A um, couple of weeks back we did a PG tip, big brew, a healthy cup of um, your tasty tea. Um, and we were going to do another one. We were hoping to do one at 500 subscribers. We've smashed that guy, so I can't thank you enough. We're actually in the, we're nearing 550. It took us that long to get this done. So absolutely awesome. Thanks for subscribing. Keep subscribing because, again, there's going to be a tasty brew every now and again of these little nuggets. Um, obviously, these are for beginners, but a lot of um, accomplished players know how to do that know how to do it but don't know what they're doing it for so these little tips are just good for that type of stuff really so thanks a lot guys again all your comments subscribe subscriptions likes dislikes they're all they all mean the world to us so get involved um, and we'll do our best because you are actually making a difference on the channel um so uh, next the next big cup of tea this pg tips man um if you note back on the other lessons well or round about here we were discussing um, how to do a minor pentatonic scale. Uh, now, the minor pentatonic is just kind of used by everyone in all genres. It's a great little tasty lick, um, and it'll definitely get you playing solos. Uh, what it won't do, though, is it won't give you all of the answers. We need to kind of look at ways that we can get the most mileage out of this little ditty. So what we're going to look at today is how to identify where the blue note is, or the flat five. Again, you can use whatever terminology you want for it. Um, and where, how we can find that in all of the scale shapes, um, up and down the fretboard in any key. We're going to stay in the same key as we did with the other tutorials, so we're going to stay in the key of A minor, and we're going to point out these blue notes for you. So if you look back at that previous video, you'll notice that we were talking in bigs and smalls. Um, other guys might say see it as a whole tone with a semitone attached to it, or they might see it as a whole tone. But again, guys, as beginners, we just want to know how to get a guitar on and rock out some decent tunes. So, what we're going to do, man, we're going to look at this um, blue note, or flat five. Where it lives is in your first small, or your first whole tone. So the scale starts with a, a big stretch. Then we've got our first whole tone. Or our first small, as we were referring to on the lesson. We're going to fill that gap up. Now by filling that up, you find in your blue note. So there's your blue note there. Um, what we are, what other little nuggets we've got in that is if we look at the second small, if we get to the front of that second small, that's always your octave. It's always the same note. So we've got blue note. Blue note lives in the middle of the first small. And we've got octave, and octave lives at the front of the second small. Right, well that's all pretty good, but I want more. I want more out of this technology. I want to know how this tip works. So we can add some more tasty gear in the in the, the last little or the or the last whole tone. So now we've got big. Followed by three small. First small has your blue note in the middle. Second small has your octave at the front. Third small has your major third. And your octave to your blue note. So playing them in order first, we're going to play the blue note, then the octave, then the major third, then the blue note again. finishes the lick off. Now again, that sounds like a lot of notes, but what we're doing is we're basically looking at what we knew with the minor pentatonic and just adding a few extra notes. We're not looking at a whole new scale shape. And then if we follow that through, as long as the pattern is the same from every octave or every, every one of the same notes, we can play these and we know exactly where they are. So your blue notes in your first small, your octaves the front of your second small, and you have a major third and your blue note at the end of your last small before your two bigs. So now we can start making our riff sound a little bit more accomplished um, and we've definitely got a few more notes to play with. So what I'll do is I'll just gonna jam over a little bit of a, of a riff without using the additional notes and then I'm gonna throw the additional notes in. So I'm gonna hit the favorite button, man. That's what we're gonna do. 
And that's it guys, so I wanted to play this out with this um, little piece of information and we will catch you on the next PG Tips. Who knows when it might be, maybe 750 subscribers, bit. Sounds happens. good man. Sounds good lot. And they get more tasty. The brew just keeps coming. Let's hit that favourite button. See you. See you next time.